Welcome back to SchoolTube's Ask Mr. Z Show. I'm Mr. Z, the technology teacher who teaches teachers what I teach. I'm going to say that 10 times fast. Anyways, on to today's question. Now, Deborah from Savannah, Georgia asks, I know your school uses SchoolTube for sharing student newscasts online. What's the easiest way to find just your school's videos on SchoolTube? Well, Deborah, in my opinion, one of the best features of SchoolTube, and really there are many of them, is the SchoolTube Channels feature. Now, this allows you to easily promote your own school on SchoolTube. So now let's take a look at an example of a channel page for my school. So here we are now on the SchoolTube site. You're going to look up in the top left corner for the Channels button and choose that. And now we are presented with Sponsor Channels and All Channels and Featured Channels. Okay, I'm going to look for my Amherst Tech TV channel to show you that. And notice, of course, it starts playing back automatically. I just paused it right now so I could keep talking here. But it does start playing back your chosen video automatically. Now, I say chosen video because you get to choose what video shows up as the first play video, which is a really neat feature. Okay, more about that in a minute though. Let's take a look now from top to bottom of my channel page for my school. The first thing you'll notice at the top is what's called a masthead. A masthead is a banner graphic, uh, 950 pixels wide by 100 pixels tall, where it's custom made for your school. And it links back, I'll show you here, links right back to your district homepage. So this is a great way to promote your school by bringing people from SchoolTube right back to your district website. So it's custom made for every school, and it's at the top of the page for any of these types of channels for SchoolTube. On the background here, you'll notice all around here is uh, orange, the color orange. You get to choose the color for the background, so it doesn't have to be black or white. You can choose your school colors, and ours happens to be orange and black. Now, of course, here we already talked about the big window. This is the playback window, and your viewers are allowed to play at full screen if they'd like to by using the switch right down here. So very nice, high-quality window to show your, your videos right on your channel page. Now, to the right, you will see the information panel. And because I'm already logged in, I'm actually able to just click right in the box and change text if I needed to. Okay, very easy, just simple click and retype. You have your title up here. You can upload your own avatar, whether it be a photograph or an icon. And some statistical information shows up. And of course, your paragraphs of your chosen information. Here I just talked about what our school TV program is, gave a couple of websites, and reminded parents that they can subscribe to our channel. Which brings me now to the next part, a couple of options down here. The green subscribe button. You can have um, email notifications go out to people at their choosing to be notified whenever a new video is uploaded. Now think about this. This is a great way for parents to get emails when you upload your school's morning show, for example, or some classroom video projects. Great way to have, keep people in the loop, and they, of course, can opt in and opt out anytime they uh, would choose to. Over here, you can also, people can send a message, a single email message out to somebody, like, hey, check this channel out. And you can share this channel with some social networking sites as well. Now scrolling down a little bit more, the next part here, this could be turned on or off. I chose to have mine on, and I'll tell you why. This is the favorites area. I've went through the SchoolTube inventory of thousands upon thousands of videos, and I chose videos here that really are pertinent to the project we're currently working on, and those would be our Did You Know shows and our comedy shows. Now, I want my students to be able to watch these as examples to learn from them before they start making their projects. So these, some of these are uploaded by my students, some of them by other schools, but it's a great way to kind of collect your favorites from SchoolTube and have them show up in one convenient way. Now moving down to the next panel, again this can be optional, turned on or off. These are all the videos that you have uploaded into your channel. Now the most recent one I just did was our last Friday's newscast, so of course it shows up here as video number one. But these now go back in time chronologically from when I've uploaded them. If I want to see all of them, I would hit down in the corner here, show all, and watch what happens. It will redraw the page and give us plenty more shows to choose from, going again back in time chronologically. So these are all the videos that you have uploaded into your channel page. Makes it a very convenient way for your visitors to see just your shows from your school or your school building. So as you can see, having a school channel on SchoolTube is really a great way to showcase your school and the projects made by your students and teachers. And since the channels are hosted directly on the SchoolTube site, school districts don't need to use website filtering for SchoolTube channels. 
Now all of your students and teachers can safely access videos online from your school computers, since SchoolTube is the recognized leader for moderated internet media sharing for teachers and students. Now that's why SchoolTube is nationally endorsed by dozens of premier educational associations as well. So now if you're ready to create your channel for your school, visit schooltube.com and click on the store link at the top. Here you'll get all the details on setting up a channel for your school or organization. Now if you have a question about SchoolTube or using Adobe Visual Communicator, visit AskMrZShow.com where you'll also find more of my video tips of the week like this one. I'm Mr. Z, thanks for watching.